On this week's episode of One Up Me, some more Google Stadia news has come out. An Overwatch event is on the horizon, and Disney Plus is coming to PlayStation. Enjoy the show. How's everybody doing out there today? Hope you are all having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Uh, my name is Ryan. Um, this is one of me episode. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I, was it 53? I yes. I keep forgetting myself, even though 53. We, yeah, this and 53. That is Jordan. Um, yeah, this is the one of me podcast. What's up, Jordan? Nothing much, man. I've had a really weird week. It's one of those weeks where it's stressful for stuff that I've put upon myself, but also stuff that I can't really control. So it's just been like a bundle of like. Not like give me gray hair stress, just like stress and annoyance to the point of like I'd want to play more video games and make time and stuff. And it's like insert long winded excuses here for the reasons why I haven't played some of the games that I'd like to play. But it's all in all, it's, you know, been a good week, a good ish week, you know. So, yeah, sorry, I was adjusting my microphone. It's okay, it's fine, but uh. Yeah, it's been an okay week. I had to train some new people at work, and it. So the people that are going to replace you. Yeah, so I, I do a couple different positions at work, and one of them is for the morning stuff. So I had to train the the new guy early one morning, and then I showed up the next morning to train him again. But then he didn't show up because he was sick or whatever, and then I had to train go back that night and train the guy that was working nights. So it's on top of doing my other job, and so it's just it's just been kind of stressful at work training. People because That's yeah, especially I haven't given my actual two weeks, like but they know I'm leaving. I told them they're like, "What? Well, what's the percentage of like you leaving?" Because I do like five or six different jobs there. Um, You're like one hundred percent. I was like, "Well, yeah," but I I told them I was like, "There's an eighty to ninety percent chance that I'm moving. Like it's it's more than likely gonna happen. I'm surprised y'all haven't heard about this before. I have been planning this move and discussing it pretty openly you're, you're like, do you, for you, about you, a year. Wait, do you not listen to the podcast? I've I've talked about this <laughs> every week for months now. It's like Hello? I've been ta- I've been talking about this for like a year. Do you do y'all not listen to my podcast? I'm actually kind of glad they don't listen to the podcast because I talk crap about work a pretty good bit sometimes. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if, if you're if you uh, don't start a podcast to complain about your actual job, what do you start a podcast for? That's a good point. I'd love to get playing. I'd love to get paid to talk about uh, complaining about my actual nine to five job. So, <laughs> but then it would be ironic because if you got paid enough, then this would actually become your actual job. So you would quit your actual job, or so you could complain about the podcast. But then would you keep your regular nine to five? I don't so know. You would have something to talk about on the podcast. I think I would just go be a barista at Starbucks because I feel they have very interesting lives. So uh, maybe, probably, probably pretty. I don't know. Probably, I can imagine getting people's names wrong and making mediocre, uh, making mediocre coffee for way too much it would be pretty, uh, pretty boring. I scrubbed my face too hard this morning with my soap scrub stuff. And it kind of hurts. <laughs> How hard could you possibly scrub your face to where, like, it's like radiating pain? No, not a lot. Just like a, a, like a little, like a ding. Like it's hard for me to describe what it feels like. It's like a very, it's like a point five percent pain of throbbing on a scale of like zero to ten of throbbing. That's so, weird. I know. I'll, I guess I just scraped off a. You know, a couple, uh, a little, a little too much skin or something. Cause I was like, scrub, 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 scrub. And now I'm like, my face kind of tingles. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. It, how long ago did you do that? How long ago did you wash your face? I don't know, an hour ago. Um, I, um, I, listen, I don't, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I don't think you should be doing that. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, it, it's fine. I don't need a face to record no, the you podcast. You a mouth. That's right. I'm ready. I'm just ready to get out of school. I've got a few weeks left, and I'll be out. Oh my gosh! I'm so glad for I'm summer glad vacation. I was actually, uh, I've been. I actually had a lot of stuff due the past couple of weeks that I turned in, so I've actually finally been able to actually play video games 
and do stuff besides like work just on yeah video, just, oh, no, not video games on school a, school that's good i mean so man jump force is just I don't. I can't decide if I actually like like well, Jump Force. Despite the fact that it's got like only mediocre reviews, it seems like they are still supporting it. Which is kind. Of, I feel like they're just they're grasping. Like they're like, please, please, someone give us a good review so we can make I don't money. Think, no, I mean, the reviews are over. No one's giving. No one's reviewing. No one's reviewing this game that came out two months ago. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but some news is that if my hero. One Justice wasn't already dead, which, as someone that pre-ordered it for $60, and I'm pretty sure you can get it for $30 now, don't buy the game, uh, You, it, I'm pretty sure it was dead on release. You can now, well not now, soon, in the near future, you can play as All Might in Jump Force. Uh, and he looks kind of ugly. He looks really weird. He's in like the style of the rest of the game. So he's like it looks kind of leathery. It doesn't look. I don't. I don't know if I'd say it looks bad, but it kind of looks like he all like he does when he's mad, all, even when he's smiling. Yeah, which is uh, really weird. But like from the anime and manga, he'll be able to use his three main moves: Detroit Smash, Carolina Smash, Oklahoma Smash, and most of our personal favorites: United States of Smash. So. I mean, I'm, this is cool. They, they have a lot of cool characters in the game and just don't really care about the game itself. It's got, like I said, pretty mediocre reviews overall. I don't I have no idea how the uh, how many people are playing it or anything like that. But. I don't either. Uh, I think it's one of those games that I, I honestly think I'm going to pick it up. Just not now, but in the future. it's uh, I'm going to pick it up as one of those games where it's just like, you know, you have all the boys over or girls, you know, because... Who knows? You can have whoever you want as friends. You have all your friends over, and you're just hanging out, and you're just like, man, this character can beat this character. And then you just, you have a little fight. You know, you and, then some, and then it's canon that Bulma could beat All Might. It, or whatever. Ex- exactly, exactly. You know, you have some chicken wings, some pizza. You play some, you know, some Jump Force. You watch some, I don't know, Netflix, uh, whatever that show is about the, uh, the person that's drawing the dicks and stuff. I forget uh, the American oh, Vandal. Talking, wait, that's a. Uh, is it American oh Vandal? Oh my gosh! What's the name of the show? We watched this together. We did. Like over, over <laughs> one weekend when you came over here to play Pokemon. God, that was a good show. I think it's called What's American Vandal. American Vandal. Yeah. Did you ever so, watch season two? I haven't watched season two yet. Is it good? I I have not watched Obviously season. You have. Okay. I think I think I just I think we watched one episode together, and then we just stopped it and ended up doing something else. I don't know. But it does I don't seem. Remember, like, but yeah, I need to. I need to, I, Season one is so good. I'm sure season two is probably good as well. Exactly. But I mean, it's nice to know that they're still planning on supporting the game. It probably sold pretty well. I mean, it's Jump is such a popular uh, magazine in comics. Exactly. So it make it would make sense that if it sold well, even if it's not the greatest. Yeah, you know, and all in all, it's it's anime. It's anime fighting game, and you know. Some even if it's bad, some people will jump onto it. You oh, know, speaking and, of fighting games, real quick, you know how uh, you, you might have the same problem. Um, we constantly get d- disconnected from uh, the internet. Yeah. So I was told by somebody to try getting an Ethernet cable. That might help. And I mean, that seems like an obvious, like no doy. But I mean, maybe that maybe I should try to get like pay five bucks on Amazon to get another Ethernet cable because I, I have one going to my computer. But I don't want to have to switch them, so maybe I'll oh, try okay. that. That's not a bad idea. I should try that. I honestly don't know where my where or if the Ethernet is even set up in my condo because all the Wi-Fi and stuff is like built into the walls, and I can't actually oh, access you don't have any like of a it. Router? No, no, it's it's like built into the walls. It's really weird. I don't even know where it is in the condo, honestly. Like, there's not like a panel or something. Like, I can't access any of it. It's all done remotely for me, uh, which is very annoying. That's strange. It it is really because you know if I wanted to go in and change the settings or do, do you know usually 
is as crappy as Comcast was, they gave me a router and I could just do whatever I wanted with it. You know, I could change stuff. I could troubleshoot all the stuff myself. But with this, I have to send a text message or an email and be like, hey, blah, 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 this is going on. And then the apartment manager contacts the company and the company does something. So it's all very annoying. But, I've never heard of that before. I mean, I'm not, I guess I'm not surprised that, that something like that exists. I just never heard of it. Yeah, it's just built into the walls or whatever, and everybody has their own connection. It's just, it's very weird and annoying. Uh, so, but yeah, that's, I have, I have heard of that. You know, it makes sense. I should just get a, an Ethernet cable and see if that fixes my problem. So, I might, might have to do that. All right. Uh, have you, have you ever been uh, playing any Sekiro? I have. I still can't beat that guy, and it's it's to the point where I feel like I'm not frustrated. Which guy are you talking about? The the same nasty looking trash can, garbador, red eyed, hog jowl looking troll man. You talking about the guy who's tied up? Yes. You still can't beat him. Yes. Don't you have the fire? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Maybe you should take a break from it and come back to it. I that that's that's what I think I'm gonna do because I played it this week. As I was saying, it's been a very stressful, annoying week. So I don't think me playing this game added any sprinkles to the mix of anything. It did not make my week better. If anything, I think it raised my blood pressure and made me even more... Because I got him to the, like, down, down to, like, the point, and I was like, okay, I'm going to beat you. And then the the guy on the ledge that I hadn't aggroed the whole fight was like, hey, I think there's fighting down there, and he yeah, jumps. You need to go, fight. go beat him first. Okay. You, which so. you, you need to beat the t- those two guys b- before yeah, you get to the I, troll. I beat them. Beat those two guys and then run up before the troll breaks out of his uh, his handcuffs or whatever and beat that guy up there and then fight the troll one-on-one. Don't try to fight him with two-on-one. Gotcha, yeah. So I, the thing that always gets me is is I guess like I'm, I'm anticipating the WWE SmackDown where he literally breaks your neck in half by slamming it. Yeah, just, just, and I'm like, and I, I guess I'm, I'm thinking he's grabbing me before he does. And then I try to do an attack and me doing that attack puts me closer to him and then he grabs me. And so I'm, I guess, I don't, I don't know. I, I wish I could see. Maybe, exactly. I think there's a feature on PlayStation that allows me to like watch you. Like, maybe. Maybe. Cause I, I'd be okay with that. Cause obviously like in my head. I know how to beat him. You just you burn just hit him. him and don't let him hit you. I- exactly. It's it's a very simple concept. You live, he dies. Like it's you know, and I even know that I can even do the part where you like kill the guy on the ledge, kill the other two dudes before you aggro the troll, then you can sneak up behind him and stab him and he loses an entire health bar. But it's just like something about the animation of the WWE SmackDown neckbreaker pile driver whatever you want to call it it just gets me just i, I don't know so well I mean, maybe the I, game is uh, apparently doing really well it sold uh two million uh copies in under uh 10 days i know i saw that and first i was like man that's really good and then i was like is it really good and then i was like no, well yeah really good and i was like 10 days i was like and guess i guess i was comparing it to like in my head i was like how many copies did red dead sell and like 10 days and I was like I don't know but I was like 2 million copies that's still a ton like it's doing I mean, yeah that's 60 60 dollars 60 times 2 million okay. exactly uh, somebody at work was like hey you got a PS4 and I was like yeah they're like you want to buy Sekiro for 40 bucks my friend's selling it and I was like I pre-ordered the game and I paid 60 for it and I'm good man like I don't need to I don't need to buy Sekiro he's like I'm like your friend already beat it he's like no, it's too hard, so he he's selling it. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be that guy. So That's funny. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like that's kind of why you're hearing the you know, conversation about uh, quote-unquote easy mode in Sekiro is because it's kind of broken into the mainstream a little bit. 
Exactly. I mean, it's been like in the top five Twitch stream games, which I know isn't like a, the only indicator of games popularity, but it's definitely up there and clearly it sold 2 million units. So it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I do feel like since more people are playing it and being like, oh, you know, I'm getting my arse handed to me over here. So, you know, Mailer should be an easy mode. <clears throat> I disagree with that, but I, that may be why it, uh, it is kind of sparking the conversation, just because it is popular. Exactly. I, mean, I looked up Dark Souls 3, sold 3 million in uh, about a month. So, okay. I don't, they, they've always been popular, I'll say always, but they've been popular games for a while now, but um, I don't know, that might have something to do with it. You've been playing anything else besides uh, Sekiro or Sekiro? So we played some Division 2 together, and that's yeah. just, man, that's enjoyable. I... I love that game. I wish it we had more game. time to play up, it. They're uh, looking into... Uh, they just released an update, um, but they're also having an, another update, or they're... Where, where they're trying... I don't know. I don't think I've read when it was going to come out, but it's going to address things like um, enemy sponginess, which it's not too bad, but I could see that. Um, and um, overly aggressive enemies and stuff like that. Because the game okay. is not easy. No, I will so say I there's some... I can see why they would want to do that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. There's definitely some aggressive enemies where it's like I've I shot it's you. Too hard though. It's it's not. I don't. I do. I don't feel it's too hard. Also, I'm comparing everything to Sekiro at the moment of like hardness, you know. So everything else is like a breeze uh, compared to Sekiro. But I enjoyed uh, Division. I played some Apex. Yeah, I played some. I played some Apex too. It's still a good game. I haven't been playing too much. I don't want to burn out of it. You know, I want to be able to play it for a long time. So I haven't been playing. Exactly. Terrible, you know. I would I would like to get to the level 100 on the battle pass, but you know it it might not happen. What uh, level are you at right now? I think I'm level. I think I just got level seven on the battle pass. Level yeah. eight. I think so. I'm level 15, so I'm not okay. that far either. Um, oh, one thing that so I started playing Clash of Clans again. Yeah, yeah. And that's a really enjoyable game, and it's I didn't. Bad. It's it's not. I, I joined a clan with some of my coworkers that have either started the game or just re-downloaded the game, sort it's of crazy a thing. That people are still playing that game. Oh uh, yeah, apparently it's that going game's, going that strong. Game's old now. Yeah, it's I think it's six years old, seven years old, no, something old, like that. Definitely older than that. So. I, I'm look that up actually. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's yeah, but it's Clash actually Clans. enjoyable, and it's weird for me to say that about a mobile game. Oh my gosh. No, it came that out in makes... 2012. Dang, okay, all right. Yeah. Seven years old. Okay. So, I thought it was older than that for some reason. That's still old for a mobile game, though. It is. Uh, the fact that it's still going on. Uh, but I, I've been enjoying that. It's one of those where I was, you know, I was like, sure, I'll download it and play it. And now you, <laughs> I have myself, like, not looking up strategies, but discussing strategies with people. Like, okay, if you do your base like this, you know, units, etc., you know, do this at this time because of this, yada, yada. So it's, I like it. Uh, I, I downloaded used to play Bla- it a little bit. I, I never got super into it, though. I downloaded Black Up, Black, Black Up, Black Out uh, for the PC because they're having some free trial. Oh, you did? Trial. Yeah, it's, it's downloaded. You tell me? Uh, I thought I told you. Okay, yeah. But it's, it's downloaded, by the way. We can play whenever. So. Crap. Because I, I want to try out that new Alcatraz map. It looks did pretty cool. Did you try cool. it? No, not yet. I haven't. I did. Like, like, I've gotten home from work every night, and I'm like, I could play the games. I was just like, but I really just want to lay down. Like, Yeah, I don't blame you. Know? you. Um, I, uh, I really like Alcatraz. The map is uh, way, 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 way smaller. It's probably less than a quarter the size of the original Blackout map. There's uh, is, 40 people. That's what I was going to say. Is it 100 people dropping into that map? No, but no, no it's, it's, it's just 40, I, I believe. That, that makes sense. 50. Um, it's, it's less than Apex, I know that. And okay. um, right now, at least, there's only uh, quads. So I've been playing one against 40. That has not worked out well. Okay. I've been getting some kills, but yeah. So um, I believe if you play in a squad, you can revive crap. But since I've been playing singles, you can't revive. But it's still yeah. really fun and really enjoyable. I, I, the original, I tried the original map on Blackout. Uh, in singles, and that map is huge. So I would legitimately walk around for ten minutes, searching for someone to shoot. And there would be no one, and I would just be—I'd get bored, and then I'd get popped in the back of the head. Like, well, that was that was really fun. 
There you go. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I've been doing this week is I think I played Persona 4 Golden, now that I think about it. But uh, maybe, maybe 30 minutes of it, if I've that. I've been playing like, like I, an hour, 30 minutes in. Uh, hope, try to do it like every day, but not every day. But I'm still playing it. Uh, I've also been playing some uh, more of my V. I've been, um, I think I talked about this last week. But yeah, still playing some uh, Geometry Wars and some... Uh, Race the Sun, both like um, arcadey type games that are really good. Nice. I randomly find myself thinking about Pokemon Conquest and how I need to pick it back up. Yeah, but then I, I need to play it too. But then I remember I have the far superior Wargroove on Switch that I need to check out because it's I need to just I need to play it. I need to try it. Uh, and the last thing I've been doing this week is doing uh, what is it called? Not. It says Netflix. Netflix. That's what does that mean? Uh, I've been watching Sabrina, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the second season. Yeah. So that's out. Wow, it is. Uh, it's going darker. R- really? Yeah. It, it has some moments where I'm like, man, this is like, it's kind of intense. <laughs> so uh, I'm. I'm, thinking, I'm I didn't think it needed to go darker. Not like in a bad way, just like in. Well, I'm, I think I'm only two or three episodes in. Uh, it's just taking some turns that I was like, that's interesting, creatively. Uh, they did change the statue in the, in the Academy, though, because they got sued by the Satanic Church for stealing their statue, allegedly, or apparently. Uh, so, yeah, that's Sabrina's cool. I don't think we'll do an episode on it. No, no. Um, <laughs> but That's interesting, because last year it came out around Halloween, I guess they want to. They're probably going to release Stranger Things around Halloween this year. Probably. Uh, they did change Harvey's dad in the show because uh, the actor that played him, I believe his name was Luke Perry, passed away. So. Oh. Okay. Rest, yeah. Rest I, think in, I remember that. Rest in peace. Yeah. Him. Uh, you got some in, an interesting two things on your list. Yeah. Uh, well, I've uh, also picked up uh, Mario Plus Rabbids again. Kind of filling with that. It's still a good game. Just, I need to give him a switch some love, so I've been playing that. Um, I was going to play The Messenger, but then I, I realized I had to re-download it, um, which Ew. I need to do. Um, um, I, so I haven't been playing Sekiro, but I have been playing another game that might be just as hard, which is uh, Cuphead. That game is so pretty, and the music is so great, but man, that game is one of the hardest games I've, I've played, for sure. It's so hard. It's really good, but man, it is very difficult. You gonna pick it up when it comes out for Switch? No, no, no. There's no point. I just play it on my PC. There you um, go. I mean, like I said, I already have it, so there's not really. That's if I didn't point. have it, yeah, I would buy it on Switch <clears throat> over uh, over PC. But no, I already have it. There's no point in me buying it again. I think I'm about <clears throat> a quarter of the way through, so okay. it's pretty much just a boss rush. The entire game is you just fight bosses over and over again. So oh, that's I cool. like that. So, uh, are you watching season one or season two of Mob Psycho? Uh, season one. Oh, okay. What do you think? That's good. It's good. I know uh, you tweeted something out about being like your favorite series of all time or something. Oh, yeah. It's it's on my list of like top ten uh, series I really enjoy. It's like I, one of my friends did a canvas piece. It wasn't for me, but he did it of Mob. And I was like, hey, I want that. And so, I, that's one of the pieces I have. It's a huge canvas of Mob. And I got some, like a a pencil palace that has like one of the little dudes on it. I really I really do enjoy Mob Psycho. The universe is cool. I like the message that the anime has. The art style is great. It's just it's a really good anime. I haven't watched uh, season two at all yet, though. I think it's finished as well. So yeah, I think it I, is too. I, I think I'm six or seven episodes in, so I'm about halfway through. Okay, nice. It's one of those I I've always in the past I've tried watching animes when they come out. You know. Spring anime, winter anime, new anime, and I've tried, and then it's just like, I don't like waiting for the next episode or having something spoiled if I haven't seen that episode, so then I just wait for everything to be out so I can just sit down and watch it all and not get spoiled by uh, stuff. Yeah, I doubt I'm going to be able to do that when My Hero, the new season comes out. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to get spoiled, like, it, it's going to happen, so... Man, that's such a good show. I can't wait for that second season. Wait, of what? Well, not sorry. By second, I meant like okay. I, it's like season like, three or four. 
Yeah, by second, I meant like another season of My Hero. And uh, Seven Deadly Sins got announced for a third, uh, fourth, or th- another season, whatever season it is. I think it's so, the third, because that other is just not, that's not the second it, season. That does, yeah. They, there's been two actual seasons of... Uh, Correct. Of Seven so, Deadly Sins, which it I is the actual the second <clears throat> season of that. But So I'm, I'm excited for that, and I, I need to read the manga. Is for, oh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I did forget. I watched a few episodes of... Naruto Shippuden. Um, <gasps> I need to finish that, so I decided. Yes. I've got like 80 episodes left. And oh, that's not I bad at all. I think a lot of them might be, oh, not spoiler, um, Fillers. filler. So. Yeah. So, it's, man, that's such a good show. Oh, I love Naruto. It's good. There's too much filler, but it is good. Um, we got a couple new games for y'all, <clears throat> for y'all though. Yeah, so we got Final Fantasy X and X-2 HD Remastered coming out for Switch, Xbox One, and PS4. This is going to be coming out on April 16th. So check those out. Especially if you have a Switch. That's awesome. I love all these great uh, games. Final Fantasy X? Nope. I stopped it. Final Fantasy VII. So I I have. Yeah, I didn't either. I have not played any of the other ones. I. Yeah. That's all I know (laughs) about it. I know some people love them, some people hate them. I. I think it's cool that it's on Switch. I'm probably not going to pick it up. And then, like we mentioned kind of briefly, Cuphead is coming to the Switch on April 18th. So if you have a Switch and you haven't had it on anything, or if you just want to buy it again to support them, I'm sure they'd love that too. You can get it on Switch on April 16th. I might do that, but that's a very small might because I can't. I still can't decide if I like platformers or not. What do you, what do you mean? I know, I know. Look, this might be a b- make or break thing. It might cancel the podcast, and we might not be friends anymore. Who doesn't but like it's just... platformers? Oh, I, because I, it's not a platformer. Oh, okay. Not well, really. I, I, There's probably not in it, but. Okay, got it's it. Well, that. Like a weird platform shooter hybrid okay. thing. But who doesn't like platformers? Do you I don't know. Like Mario? I, I mean, yeah, I do. I also like Mega Man. Uh, you like. I mean, have also, you been playing Sly Cooper? No, I haven't. I haven't even touched that at all. Oh my uh, gosh! Do I need to? Fine, I'll make. I'll make some time for Sly Cooper this well, week. I mean, if you bought it, why, why would you not want to play it? I I don't know. I guess like I've gotten in the in my headspace of like beat a game, go to the next game, beat a game, go to the. It's hard for me to like, especially if it's a single player game. I like only doing that single player game. It's really hard for me to jump from. Like system to system to system, and I'm trying to do that because yeah, you know, I, I like trying. to have like one game I'm playing on each system. But see, to to me, I don't know. I guess it's just maybe how my brain works. I'm like, I have this single player game on this system. It gets the love. Sorry, other things you don't get love right now. Mm-hmm. But you know, I need to, I need to learn how to spread the love, and I I guess it's just it'll come with. But it sounds know. like I mean, if you like Mario and you like Mega Man, it sounds like you like platformers. Okay, maybe I just, in my head, I say to myself I don't like platformers so I don't go out and buy a bunch of plat. I don't know. They're, I don't know. Not like, they're not exactly the biggest games in the world anymore. There's That's true. There's a lot true. of so, platformers, but besides that, they don't really... Nintendo is really the only parts, you know, team that ever releases platformers anymore. Exactly. So I don't know why I say I think I don't like platformers when in reality I actually do like platformers i don't know where that push and, i don't know <laughs> i don't know where that push and pull that yin and yang that battle with the wolves inside of your body sort of a thing uh came from about me and platformers i i really don't <laughs> it looks like that a uh, dra- super super dragon ball heroes world mission card game thing came out yeah i think it did on April 9th or something. Tenth. It's got a pretty. It, it's, it's got a uh, not a bad me, uh, Metacritic scores. Um, yeah. Seventy six isn't. That's not bad. IGN Italia gave it an eighty three. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll pick this up. It's, it looks I like I'm, interesting. I really like the way it looks. Um, so I might have to watch a video on it or something. It looks cool. Uh, I'm just really hesitant about getting a digital card collecting game on the switch so i, well, I don't, don't think it's multiplayer or anything no 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 it's not uh i think it's just all housed in its own universe so it's one of those things that's interesting 
just like how apparently four Overwatch players have quit the Overwatch League in the last two weeks, according yeah, to Kotaku. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know, if y'all didn't know, uh, if you follow Overwatch at all, Defran is a popular player. He quit uh, recently. Um, I, th- I, think, I, don't, I think he just said he just didn't want to play anymore. Yeah. Um, and then so, now Kotaku is reporting that, um, let's see, what, who is it? Okay, so like, like Ryan said, uh, Defran quit the Atlanta Reign about two weeks ago. Uh, then three more people have left after that. So from t- Toronto Defiant, uh, Stellar has quit. Sorry, what's, yeah, Stellar, da- Dallas Fuel, uh, Effect has quit, and Dallas Fuel's player, Coco, has, the, sorry, the, uh, he was a, he was a player, he turned it, he was, but he was a coach. He turned thank into a you. coach. Correct, yes. So, uh, one, uh, Johnson said, he just can't find his groove with Overwatch these days. He said, quote, I think Overwatch is really, I don't think Overwatch is really for me anymore. Uh, it's nothing about the team or our setup here. It's more about me really not enjoying the game as much as I once did. I don't really enjoy living in Southern California, as weird as that sounds to most people, end quote. Uh, while Lee and Huang cited mental troubles at the reasons for their departure. Uh, Lee chalked up his retirement to, quote, some personal stress issues from mental and general lifestyle-wise, while uh, Wang published a lengthy Facebook note in Korean that's been translated, and he said he was talking about his relationship with Overwatch and his struggles with self-harm and thoughts of suicide. He said, quote, the game itself couldn't, tug at my interest anymore and I couldn't become the star uh, the same comps the same maps the same strategies he wrote end quote so apparently he's been struggling with these feelings of shame ever since he was a kid and his feelings about Overwatch just brought those out in a more dangerous way so I'm hopefully he will get the help yeah and and you know there's I mean, it goes effect into is big. Like, I oh, like effect is a is a well known name. It, man, exactly. It sucks for me. I hope he gets better. Be yeah, better. he and he, he goes into you know talking about how he's fallen into depression and different stuff and it you know you can go read the post if you'd like, but he he did say I will uh, wrap that up with he did say he plans to consult with doctors in hopes of getting his mental health on better track. He eventually hopes to return to YouTube and streaming in time. So that's really good. I hope he gets the uh, help he deserves. Yeah. <clears throat> As for uh, like how this affects the league, this feels like it, it's kind of a problem. Um, overall, uh, several big players have quit. Like it seems, you know, they've only this is only the second season, I believe, and they've already had a good amount of people uh, quit. And I guess as long as they have other people coming in, it won't be the biggest deal in the world. But they need players like Effect that are popular, you know, to bring people into the uh, to the game. Seagull quit because he just did, I think, kind of something similar. He just got burned out. This has happened a lot. Yeah, same thing with the uh, Florida Mayhem coach. He quit because of mental things and stuff. And before season, uh, t- season two started, the league announced measures – aimed at lighting loads on players' shoulders, including uh, a reduced number of games for each team throughout the season, and teams also discussed measures of their own uh, to do like better practice schedules and also bringing on sports psychologists. Uh, so if that, you know, if that's what's happened so far, is, is Indian, if that's what's happened already, and there's been four people that have quit already due to certain things that fall into those wheelhouses this season that's not that's not even counting last season exactly so uh, they should definitely do more like this is you know it's and i feel this is like this this could definitely be opened up into a bigger thing of just professional um what is professional sports athletes that's what i'm looking for professional athletes as a whole you know not just video games like everybody you know it's for them to be on camera, on stage, all the time, and it's just stress. and a lot of them have, to, have moved away from you know other countries. Exactly, they've moved away from their their own lifestyles and their you know, I, you know, even living news. in 
Exactly. Even living in the U.S., like I know it'd be hard for me to move to Southern California, and yeah, I, you know, take time to adjust, and we live in the same country. Exactly, and I can't even imagine changing like culture shock and mm-hmm. language barriers, Food and then is different. Exactly, Plus, you know, that, they're they're going to be doing more exercise than they're, they're used to. I'm sure they're going to be uh, just eating healthier, which obviously are good things, but it's still different. Yeah, I mean, it, honestly, like when it comes down to it, like so many things can affect your like mental state especially like if you're going from eating certain things in your home country and then you come here and america doesn't have those things and then the weather's different there's just like it's a ball and of this, collective I don't know how much this would help but maybe if blizzard came up with more than one you know it didn't take them a literal year to fix things it's actually insane and i don't ridiculous to be honest how long it takes them to fix a lot of things exactly yeah uh to, to, so it's been like a year i swear since the the uh just triple tank meta has been going on and these players have been playing like the exact same games over and over and over again against the same comps yeah i could not could not do that so we wish these players the best of luck. We hope they get all the help they deserve and yeah. get back into the swing of things. If you think, you like, if, if if they, I mean, if they thought, if they think that if they're just not enjoying it anymore, if they think it's po- bad for their health, yeah, I mean, I I mean don't blame it, them. the the good point is, is they realized that it's bad right now, and they didn't like they didn't just keep trudging through, you know. So I'm glad they got out now and didn't push themselves too far physically or mentally. Yeah, that's because, a good thing, you know, definitely. So, but apparently something we can wrap our minds around now that I'm not Sony's sure if I can wrap my, mind, wrap my mind around this. Sony sure couldn't for years. PlayStation blog finally gave us some more information. So, you can now change your PlayStation name. Oh Halla my gosh. Lula. It's only been like 15 10 years. years. Yeah. Exactly. So, obviously, this link we're going to give you, which will be in the show notes, it'll give you literally the entire breakdown of how to do it, etc. So, so just to throw out some stuff right now, in case you don't want to click on the article, no, you cannot change your online ID on your PS3 or PS Vita. Just, just what? in case you were curious. That doesn't make any sense. They're the same account. I, I know, I know. You can only change the name through the PS4 system or the web browser. Wait, does it does? What, but will that change your name on Vita? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, 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 I just, I just. Yeah, sorry, I just said it weird. Uh, do you ha- do you have to pay to change your ID? How much will it cost? The first change is free, so thank you, Sony. We appreciate it. Changes after that will cost $9.99. Uh, That's United States monies. For PlayStation Plus members, which I assume most everybody has. If not, you just need to get it because it's the one of the best deals out there. It will cost $4.99 for each change after the first one. So I, I don't know how often people are going to change their name. I mean... I know some, but, some Xbox players change their name a lot. So, you know. I mean, they could make some money off of this. It just baffles me how long it took to um, it took to get them. Um, also, also I have heard that there are a few games that this might have trouble with. So uh, I don't know them off the top of my head. So if you're thinking about changing it, I would look that up. But I mean, so, this, I might change my mind, my name. I don't know. It's been I tell you what for, which is a you know kind of a joke on red like and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll change it or not. So, you know, it, it answers questions like, how many times can I change it? You know, can I revert back? Can I change this? Blah, blah, blah. Reverting back is free, apparently. So, can anyone change their online ID? Child accounts cannot change their online ID. So, just go check out this article. There's like, you can just scroll and scroll and scroll. There's tons of questions they answer. I'm not going to go through all of them here. I, I don't because... know if this is true, um, but I, I was told by somebody that they would... Um, this was on Xbox, but they would have their name, whatever it would be, but it would always violate the. T- it would be some dumb 
funny goof name that was like offensive or whatever, and it would violate the terms of service for Xbox, and they would they, and they would make them change it. But since they made them change it, it was it was supposedly free, so they would just keep making it offensive and keep getting dumb free names, hmm. which that's true. It's kind of incredible, but I think I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Take that with a grain okay. of salt. There you go. So that's <laughs> that's interesting. So I'm glad they finally let us change yeah, oh that. You gosh, know, it took so long, and then when they finally came out with it, I think it was last year they came out with the beta. And then it was Man, like, it was... people's PS4s up. Exactly. Like, so change the name. I think the way I understood it is they tied the name in to like the architecture of the of the PlayStation because they're idiots, yeah. I guess. Yeah, sure. I don't but... I don't know. I just yeah. uh... baffled my mind. But finally after years, you can change your name. Exactly. The only advice I have, if you have numbers or underscore in your name change it you know get something that doesn't have an underscore you gotta get something that says like like bubba ttv it has that ttv in it you know so that's you, right so people know your twitch Next up, we have some Google Stadia news coming from US Gamer. So we just wanted to cover the price, uh, about connection, and some other stuff like that. So they straight up ask, what about the pricing? I know you haven't announced anything yet, but is this going to be like a subscription-based service? Uh, so the person said, I think I can say right now that Google is known for, for providing products to all people all over the world at price points that make themselves accessible. And so I think you'll see a similar type of philosophy used for Stadia here. If the vision is to bring, you know, a triple A gaming to billions of people all over the world, we want to make sure that we can do that in a way that folks can actually access it. Okay. So it sounds like it's probably going to be some kind of subscription service. If, yeah, because I don't think it'll be, they're not going to be able to negotiate the price with the developers, I don't think, unless it is a subscription type service, like 10 bucks a month or whatever. Yeah, so then, then he, you know, at the start of the article, they were talking about how, you know, where I live, this per I have pretty good internet. What about the people who don't have good internet? How will Stadia work for them? Three Their words. answer was. No. Yeah, it sucks <laughs> for them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they said, and they're giving very like, they're not giving direct they're answers. They're giving bush. exactly. Uh, they said a wise person once said, "quote Don't bet against the internet." End quote. So you think again of Stadia a lot like YouTube. If you're able to have high fidelity YouTube experience in your home, you're probably in good shape for Stadia. You know. Then they ask a follow up question: What internet speeds are we talking about specifically? And the person goes, so you're able to play 4K video in your house, right? And the person goes, yeah. And so they reply, so I mean, you're probably in good shape for Stadia. We haven't specifically talked about data rates uh, right now. And then the interviewer follows up with a data, a, data a data cap question. Will Stadia be taxing for customers with limited amounts of data? Um, the person answers, again, it's fun to keep coming back to, but it's very true. Stadia is a lot like Netflix or YouTube in terms of overall experience consumption of media. So if you're watching a lot of online video content in your home right now with no issue, you're probably in good shape for Stadia. Hmm. So, I mean, you know, I the way know, I look I at things is... Obviously, playing video game and... Watching something on YouTube or Netflix is 
It's definitely it's very different because you have to you're actually interacting with it. So exactly, that doesn't really answer to me. Um, what about like lag and um, you know, sh- shuddering? I don't know if that's the right word, but you know what I mean. Yes. Um, so they actually ask that uh, stuttering, not shuddering. <laughs> stuttering, shuddering. So you know, and they go through and they ask a bunch of really cool questions. Uh, so one of the big things that I wanted to talk about is they said, so I'm, they're like, will it be able to use a PS4 controller? Like, will it be a, you can use any controller, they said, but it will, be, will it be a bad experience if you use a PS4 controller with Stadia? Would the Stadia controller be better? And the, they were just straight up like, it'll be better with the Stadia controller. That's right. Well, of they course they're going to say it's right. It'll be better. They, they, it sounds like some... Like Resident Evil One level of mistranslation. It, it will exactly. be better with Stadia controller. That's right. <laughs> what? Like, what? 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 <laughs> so you Are know you they right? go into different things. Yeah, they go into different things uh, in this article. You know, so check it out if you want to know more about this. But they they seem like they're doing a pretty good job on Stadia. It'd be nice when we it actually get like some concrete. Doing a good job of just answering questions beating, very vaguely. Yeah, and part of me's okay with it, and part of me's kind of like, what are you hiding? Just be straight up with me. Be like, okay, Stadia is going to be $100 for a year. The controller is going to be $90. You know, here you go. Those are all made-up prices. That's None of that's true. As someone the who I just made, thought that the yeah. outrage about this was a little over the top, they're, I think that they're being very sh- – I don't want to say shady because that makes sense. Sound like they're trying to be up to no good, but they're not really directly answering any of these questions. Exactly. Well, I mean, the thing you watch YouTube, right? I mean, that's the same thing as playing a video game, right? It's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, the thing that I'm probably most concerned with about Stadia is the Google Assistant integration. Because what if I'm playing a very obscure game and I'm like, hey, I need help on this? and I hit the assistant button, what is it going to show me? Because what if someone hasn't made content for that on how to beat this thing? What is it going to pop up? Is it just going to pop up? Is it just going to Google the, the game for me? I mean, like, with all due respect, I guess, that's not really their problem. I, I, 100, I 100% agree. <laughs> but it's just like, you know, part of me is like, well, that's, does that's it the same need? Thing you're Googling, like Googling it the traditional way. If you're that's, playing... Okay. You True. Know, Big Bob's eat, eat as much ruffles as you can video game, and you Google a, like a guide to that, and there's nothing there. That's no different than you know normal. I would happily play a VR game about that. Big Bob's eat them up ruffles, and it's just a guy. And he's just eating. He's just it's eating just a ruffles, ruffles looking eat- at you weirdly. What? <laughs> I like the all dressed ones. You just like kind of feel like you might be vaguely xenophobic, but you don't want to say anything because you know. Then you're, but if you're wrong and you feel bad, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, some Google Stadia news for y'all. Uh, I think that's. I think it's cool. I'm excited to try it out. I depending on the price, I'm very, I will definitely. I am, I am very very interested in this. This does correct. not change any of that because they didn't really say anything. Um. It, it does sound like it's going to be some kind of a su- uh, subscription model. That's the oh, only yeah. thing I really got out of this. But I didn't read everything. So I would suggest to just read the whole thing. It's too long for us to just go through. But it's not that long. To read. It would probably take you five minutes to read at max. Exactly. So. Yeah. So check it out. Next up we have some Octopath Traveler news coming from Gamatsu. Apparently, the popular RPG is going to be coming to PC on uh, June seventh. It was a Switch exclusive, which is interesting. Huh? I saw this and I was like, "This is good news. I like this because you know I I love RPGs. They take a lot of time, but they're you know it's it's one of those things where sometimes you got to just sit down." And you got to just put a bunch of time into them. And I really enjoy playing them on PC. So I might pick this up, which is kind of cool. Also, if you want to play the prequel to the game, it's on smartphone. You can check it out. 
no, sorry. No, maybe. No, no, it's currently in development. Currently in development. My bad, guys. Yeah. And gals. Uh, so it's going to be called Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent. So make sure you keep an ear to the ground for that. But I think that's pretty awesome. That's coming to Steam and PC. Well, you know, Steam is on PC. Yeah, it, it, you'll be able to get it on a Steam or the Square Enix store. So that's going to be June 7th. If you don't own a Switch, I guess, you know, and you want to play this game, I guess get get hyped. There you go. I think that's cool. This next piece of news is coming from VG247. Apparently, Overwatch is going to have another event on April 16th. So right around the corner, it's going to be called Storm Rising. This is really the anniversary uh, event. Mm-hmm. So it's going to, you know, there's going to be lore tied to this as most Overwatch events. We've gotten some cool skins so far. Uh, the new support character, Baptista, got a Talon skin that I really think is kind of cool. Mora has a skin that I haven't looked at yet that I'm going to look at right now. And you can get my reaction with Mora's scientist skin. That literally just looks looks like a reskin of her original. Eh, it's a little different. I, it, it looks like a lab coat. It's kind of what it looks like, yeah. I would say. Yeah. And she's got like... Yeah. Uh, needles on her hands. I don't think she normally has those. So, I mean, it looks kind of cool. I like that. Uh, Chase the Truth, April 16th. And then let me look at uh, Junkrat's skin. You know, I am a Junkrat These Overwatch events sound like, sound like Pokemon sets. Ugh, I don't like Junkrat's new skin. It's stupid. If it's a perfect... Looks, hold on, let me look at it. I, I don't mind it. It looks better. I think it's... I don't say it looks better than Moira's skin, but... I don't. Yeah. I think it looks better than the Baptiste. 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 Whatever his name is. Sure. I mean, Apparently, is, they're supposed to be great content for a uh, audio podcast here. Yeah, visual pictures. Are but, they? Um, are they great? Uh, if you're interested in the uh, the new Overwatch event, it's going to be um, April sixteenth. So I guess by the time mm-hmm. this goes live to the public, um, correct? It'll yeah. Be, um, I guess live. Are you at all interested in this? No, not at all. I didn't even know what's happening. I haven't followed Overwatch in so long just because I just fell out of it. Like, Apex stole me away, and then I just don't care anymore. I the, like the, the lore. Overwatch is it's either a zero or a ten. Exactly, yeah. The community, so, appa- like, one, you know, you can have five great, you know, good teammates, but one person can ruin the game for five other people. Yeah. So I don't, as the game is, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not, I haven't, you know, I will play the game again. I played it uh, yeah. like a month ago. I had actually a good time. And then a couple of weeks ago I tried and I had a horrible time. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the game you know, developers can do, but they could start, like I said earlier in the podcast, they could start by actually, you know, not letting the same stale meta be for a year. You know, it's, yeah. it was like they had um, triple tank. It's been for a year, uh, or goats for you know for a year. They had the mercy matter for like a year. They had dive for like a year. Maybe actually update the game, you know, with some nip- things that matter. Exactly. Uh, like previous events, more than likely you'll be fighting in Omnic Insurgents, but you know this time it'll be in Havana, Cuba. So cool. You know? Yeah. And one thing I will say about these anniversary events is they have they usually have some really cool skins. Apparently there's gonna be six more skins that are gonna be revealed. Uh so just check out the Overwatch Twitter for that. They should be released. Uh Overwatch Storm Rising runs through May sixth. So that's gonna be April sixteenth to May sixth. So mark your calendars or tell your smart assistants or your mom or whoever runs your calendar to remind you when it starts and when it ends. So when, is can, the, uh, can, when is some tech company going to come out with a, uh, a assistant that's just called Mom? Hey, Mom! <laughs> make me a sandwich! <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do that. Order, that's, that's order actually, me a sandwich. Oh, there you go. Mom, order me Jimmy John's. Shut up, Billy. Okay. <laughs> If, you're, if your assistant told you to shut up, that would be awesome. 
I mean, I've been seeing all these articles where apparently Amazon Alexa has been listening in to a very intimate conversations with people. So, you know, if you have an Amazon Alexa, maybe unplug it for now. <laughs> Is that, was it Alexa who had like the weird, like you would just start laughing randomly? Yep, it did that. And apparently this isn't the first time that Amazon has listened in on people's conversations. I mean, conversations. they're probably all listening to us constantly. Probably. You know, uh, I had somebody tell me, if you've ever given blood, that's how the government tracks you. And I was like, listen, if the government wants to track people, they'll do it. Yeah, regardless if you track people. Do you have a phone? Yeah, I'm like, they can track you literally <laughs> any way you want. Or anything, but I'm just saying, if companies wanted wanted to, they could. And it would be much like, I don't, yeah, uh, easier, exactly. I guess is a way, than trying yeah. to get it from your blood. Yeah, That's just, I was like, that sounds like a, a conspiracy theory. Next up, we have a uh, some Microsoft news for you. This is coming from The Verge. It seems like Microsoft is going to have a Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live fourteen ninety nine a month combo. I think this is awesome. So apparently, according to the Twitter user H. Zero X Zero D. What's a uh, hot side? Sure. They first revealed the new Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription and claims the service price will be fourteen ninety nine a month. So you know, if you click on that, it's you know, I, that's what they say, which is kind of cool. I know that there uh, there's been some I don't want to say teasers. There's been some rumors that Xbox is going to like announce a all digital edition Xbox One S. So that would actually make really like kind of perfect sense if for the exactly Madden's, um xbox game pass ultimate thing kind of bundled up with that and 14.99 a month for the live and the game pass that's pretty dang good well, i mean it's not it's not like, a huge savings obviously but i mean it's savings i don't exactly, know how much it know? is it, if you i know if you buy the yearly subscription it's only like 60 bucks so i yeah. don't know but if you're buying it month I, to month it's definitely a, it's definitely a savings I think it's saving five dollars, five dollars a month, pretty much. So, and I know some people like doing the month to month as opposed to the write out year. I think I do year. like three months at a time. Yeah, I either do like the three months or I just do the like the year. It, I, mean, so. I, sh- I, sh- I mean, I should definitely do the, the year is always the best price. It just it just always is. I should, I just never do. And then I, I just get an email every once in a while from Sony that's like, we're charging your account thirty bucks or whatever for your uh, three month subscription. So I don't know. I don't I, really worry I, about it too much, but yeah. if they do come out with I an think, Xbox one disc list, I would definitely consider buying it. Cause there's, I have there thought about it. I want and, uh, and because, um, games pass is not great on PC right now, but there are a lot of games on game pass that I would like to buy or like to uh, get. Exactly. Uh, man, like we were talking about, I guess in our, <laughs> I guess you'd call it the pre-show, but it's not recorded or anything. It's just us having a conversation. Uh, if Game Pass was better, I'd, I'd get it every month. Like if it had more PC games and stuff, I'd, I'd get literally get it every month. So, man, it seems like there's always another subscription service, but it makes more and more sense because people are just cutting the box. You, you know, you don't I'm need sorry cable. To interrupt you, but uh, no, go did ahead. you hear that? Uh, I don't. I think I forgot to put this in. Um, that. Get, no, no, I didn't. It's, it's in the deal section. I might as well, yeah. just, I might as well say go it ahead. now. Um, just go you ahead. Can get, you can get um, the game subscription uh, or Microsoft Games Pass for a dollar for three months. I was gonna, I put that in, in in the deal section, but then I just, I guess, spoiled the surprise. That's okay. There you go. Uh, they need to know about it now, so now, they can so go they tell all their friends. Now. Get it now. now. Why are you listening? Just listen to, keep listening to the podcast in the background and then get this. And then if your friends don't want to get it, just give them a dollar. I'm sure you got four quarters. You know, if you don't, I'll send you four quarters so you and your friends can play games together. And that's a, uh, don't, don't promise that. Don't, yeah, I, that's a lot of quarters. Don't do that. Uh, so apparently, Disney Plus is coming to the PlayStation and a bunch of other stuff, which I think is great. You know, it's, uh, Disney is, they're going to try to, Battle Netflix and Hulu and all the other subscription services that I'm not going to try to name right now. So if you've been living under a rock or just don't care about Disney, Disney Plus is their streaming service. Think Netflix, but with Disney stuff. 
So Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, exactly. Now Fox, all those. They just bought Fox. Yep. So apparently, it's service is confirmed for PS4, with discussions on bringing it to Switch and Xbox One. Man, Switch and doesn't even have Netflix. It, exactly. How do they not have like, Netflix? You know. I just does it have, does it have it doesn't have Netflix. No, it only has Hulu. Oh, okay. That's what I was gonna say. I knew it had one. I knew it had a. I knew it had a streaming service. I wish it would just get Verve instead of Netflix. I'd be so much happier with that. Why? But, why not both? That's also a good point. Sure. Uh, so for those of us that have a piece, uh, PS4, good news, I guess. I'm probably just gonna watch Disney on my like PC or whatever streaming device I have. I'm sure I can play it on a Google Chrome box or. Roku or something, I'm sure. There's actually a picture on a US Gamer. It looks like a, a, like a screenshot of a video. It's got a PS4. It's got smart TVs, Chromecast. Looks like the Apple TV, Roku, laptops. Yeah, PS4. I think that might show the Xbox and the Switch. So I guess that's kind of confirms it, but maybe it'll just be later. And the guy that's speaking is doing a hand gesture and has a microphone on the side of his face. Oh, so you know. So you know. You know he means business. You know he means business, exactly. Are you going to get right. Disney Plus? I don't know, man. I already <laughs> have so many. Stuff. It is. I wish there was a bundle. <laughs> and people were like, just get cable. No. No. I have. I, I'm using oh, that, that Ryan's. Is because bundle, that, like when you say bundle, that's the first thing you think it, of. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's like I have Hulu. Thanks to Ryan, I have Netflix, Verve, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, other stuff that I'm sure I can't remember that I'm subscribed to. I guess like PlayStation, Switch, Audible. The more I think about it, <clears throat> the more I'm thinking about not getting it. Really, like kind of while we're talking about it here, because I don't really like Star Wars. I watch some Marvel movies once every once in a while. Uh, the Disney movies, I don't, I don't even watch Pixar movies, and if I, yeah, I just don't. I was gonna say I watch them in theaters, but I don't even do that. So I don't. Yeah. The, the, the Netflix movies uh, shows aren't moving over there, so I don't know if I'm gonna get this. So. Although I'm sure this uh, will just be absolute gangbusters. Oh yeah, uh, just to wrap everything up for Disney, it's a plan. So Disney Plus, so that it includes. Content from Star Wars, Marvel, National Geographic, and more. It will be exclusive. Say National Geographic. Home. That's what the article Wait. says. It surprised me. Just like I don't know if they're. I have no clue. Maybe they have a bundle or a, a plan or a contract or something. Well, with Disney. What, what I, would be interesting if they, if they had like ESPN stuff on here and ABC be stuff because cool. they own ABC and NBC or ABC and ESPN. Exactly. So, you know, all those Marvel movies, boom, they, they'll be on here. And there's also been talks about different Star Wars shows and some Marvel TV shows coming to Disney+. Plus. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Uh, I got I to gotta see the roster. I got to see the yeah, complete yeah, I'm, roster I'm of like... I'm what, what all... If they're going to have like exclusive um, like TV shows, maybe like exclusive movies and stuff, I'm definitely going to keep you know an eye on it. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not hating on it by any means. No, I'm no, just saying. No, I mean, do what you want. Exactly. You know, I might. I might get it for a month or two if there's a free trial or something. But it, it's just there's so many things you sh- you can subscribe to now. Like streaming. What is it? DC has their streaming thing that I forget about. Never. I, I <laughs> still know? haven't even. I have like my week trial thing. I need to do that to, just so I can watch the new season of. Uh, Wait, wait, Young Justice. Yeah, same. I haven't even touched that. I think I loaded up the website and I was going to make an account and then I got sidetracked. So. Yeah, something similar happened to me. I'd, I'd love Young Justice, so I need to do that. Me too. Man, that show is that's so good. That show did a lot for me. It like got me back into comics and it was just, man, that's just a great show. Check out Young Justice if you haven't watched it. So. Yeah, definitely, for real. It's, it's really good. It's one of the best uh, superhero TV shows. So, you know, back in the day of <laughs> earlier in our podcast, we were... Back in the day. We were, back in the day, you know, like a, like 30 episodes ago, we were pirates. And we still have a special place in that heart for piracy. And, uh, you know, Sea of Thieves is getting an update. 
thank you GameSpot for telling us about this. Sea of Thieves anniversary update is huge. And here's some of the details, which is great. So, you know, it's been out for just over a year. And I know I really enjoyed it, except for when I was putting the brig because I was just trying to show Jake where to put down a barrel of gunpowder. But I used my gun to point, and I shot the gunpowder, and we all died. It was glorious. So, the Sea of Thieves update will be released for free on April 30th, you know, so it'll have a bunch of new content, which is pretty great. Um, this is going to have what they're calling Tall Tales, so it's going to be a new quest line for people that wanted more in like the classic adventure mode of Sea of Thieves. It's also going to be uh, in the game's usual share world where they get a new island that it's the biggest Rare island says it's there. Yeah, exactly. Well, you'll be able to complete a number of puzzles and riddles and search for treasure. You know, pirates love treasure. It's always an adventure. And this new mode includes new enemy types and items enchanted with new abilities and a new faction that will buy fish and meat after you utilize the new fishing and cooking mechanics oh man i love fishing and mechanics in games i do enjoy fishing in video games it's really fun so apparently there's going to be a what they're calling the arena which is a competitive mode for five teams of four set in similar distinct areas at the beginning of a 24 minute match Every team receives the same set of treasure maps. You must proceed to one of the X's marked on the map in order to receive the chest, which can be cashed in for silver at a number of special ships. Uh, of course, you know, other teams are competing for the same chest, you know, to cash in. So, you know, you might run into some people and you might have to gank them or just sink their ship. Either or, your, you know, your, your, your choice. Then you get, you know... Apparently, that'll give you a little bit of silver, and respawns are active. So, uh, what is it? Particularly to the arena, the new damage model for ships, which can now have their wheel, mast, and anchor destroyed, though these can be repaired with wood the same way you would fix a hull. So, this sounds like it's going to be awesome. It actually does sound I'm, fun. Uh, oh, but, oh, yeah, by the way, the full name of the new narrative driven quest line is called tall tales shores of gold and all that's going to be coming so, out later this month i believe yeah april correct 30th. april april 30th for free by the way they could charge money and i'm sure they'd make a little bit of money on this so it's good it's good that they, it's free though it's definitely better that it's free it's gonna probably get some people back and they've been working on this and updating it since it came out so um, it's nice to see that they're still um, active. Yeah, and I definitely will probably get the Game Pass and put this back in rotation again because this was, you know, you know if I want to play like a high-stakes game where I'm running around acting crazy with my friends, Apex Legends. If I just want to have you know, like a conversation and just kind of relax, you know, but also kind of have some intense moments, Division, but also Sea of Thieves. Cause that's it's pretty fun. It's a great game just to sit down and you know catch up with your friends. friends. Definitely, exactly. Just and you know I like being I like being a pirate. It's fun. Uh, so this next bit of news is kind of fitting in here because it's really weird. Uh, this yeah, is it is. Eurogamer. So uh, I'm just gonna read the title of the article. It's Activision pays Activision Blizzard, excuse me, pays employees one dollar per day to share. Their pregnancy data. Uh, what? I, I gotta keep reading. I, I, a, 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 a report by the Washington Post found Activision Blizzard has been incentivizing employees to give their data to the OVIA Health, or to OVIA Health, an organization that offers a range of family planning and pregnancy tracking services. Companies can pay OVIA Health to access their aggregated data of uh, pregnancy tracking services. I know, I already read that. Companies can pay OVIA Health to access the aggregated data of their workers, which according to the Washington Post, runs from, quote, trying to conceive months to early motherhood, end quote. 
The information that can be accessed includes how many workers have fa faced high-risk pregnancies, have given birth prematurely, the medical questions they researched, and the planning length of their maternity leave. For each day of use, employees reportedly received $1, a, a $1 gift card from Activision. What? And the company in turn gets to view the combined anonymous statistics. Wh what the what? hell? Um, uh, why? I don't know. It says Activision uh, stresses the program is, vo is voluntary. The financial incentive has clearly convinced many soon-to-be mothers to share their data. It's a, it's a dollar. I don't. With one employee explaining the bonus helped provide diaper and formula money. Activision Blizzard claims the scheme is popular and has saved the company roughly $1,200 per employee in annual medical costs. Speaking to the Washington Post, Activision Blizzard's uh, vice president of global benefits said the program is part of an attitude shift towards sharing private information with the comp. What? Employee in employees initially raised concerns over privacy when the company introduced Fitbit tracking in 2014. But since then, the company has also offered financial incentives for tracking mental health, sleep, diet, autism, and cancer. And uh, Ezard says uh, workers are now more comfortable with sharing their data. I guess Ezard is their uh, president of global, or vice president of global benefits. People's sensitivity has gone from, hey, Activision Blizzard is Big Brother 2, Hey, Activision Blizzard is really bringing me tools that can help me out. Oh my gosh. Is this the new Zuckerberg? His other statements, however, point to the true nature of, of the program as a call to Okay, yeah. Uh, it says, he also said, quote, I want them to have a healthy baby because it's great for our business experience. Rather than having a baby who's in the neonatal ICU where she's not able to focus much on work. Quote, end quote. This is... I don't like this. I think Activision Blizzard's trying to tell us that they're going to start the cloning process soon. This... I don't understand. I, I, that's the... Why? Why are they doing this? It's so they weird really, it's, and disturbing. They, they make so much money. Why are they doing this? It's so weird. Why do they need this money? Apparently Why are they, they only giving them a dollar? dollars per employee. Did the, did the mothers really need a dollar? That much, or I don't or know. women? That's, I, it's are the women at Activision day. Blizzard underpaid people? that much? Minimum wage. I don't know, man. This is like disturbing and sad, and like it's weird. It's it's just really weird. It's unpleasant. I, I don't like it. This is making me go down a rabbit hole that I'm not going to go down because I drag this gen. I would drag this gentleman through the mud, but he just seems kind of like creepy, like. Greasy. The top comment so. is, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That's kind of the same reaction I had. <laughs> this, this, is, well, I, this is just weird. And I don't like it, and it needs to stop. <laughs> so, you know, if you, listen, if you listen to our podcast, you know that bricks are super effective on humans. Uh, this CEO needs a brick. He needs to, <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? Oh, yeah, bricks are, get, are definitely super effective against humans. Ezra, meet brick. It's super effective. That's This is or, weird. I, I don't understand this, and I want to stop talking about it. So, that's been the podcast. What a weird Grab way your bricks. <laughs> grab your bricks, grab your crowbars. Give your friend a dollar so they can get the game pass so you can I enjoy see it these give your friend the dollar so they don't have to get it from blizzard to track their pregnancy <laughs> data so yeah and if you see us on the high seas make sure to wave and then we can have an all-out war uh, be sure to rate and subscribe to the show we'd appreciate that if you want to reach out to the podcast you can on twitter at one of podcast my twitter is at a sway lock ryan's twitter is at ryan divisions we have an instagram at one of me gaming if you want to email the show you can one of me podcast at gmail.com thank you to the heatley brothers for our music and alicia for our wonderful art we appreciate all of y'all listening tell your friends tell your enemies tell your grandma and if your grandma actually does listen to the show Teach her how to write an email and then get her to email us 
you know, at the email I just told you. Because I'm actually curious about that. That'd be kind of cool if we had some grandmas listening to the show. So, hello, one and all. We hope you'll have a great week as always. And stay safe. And Oh, wait, on. wait. Hold on. What? Okay. So, since I screwed up and I gave the deal too early, I'm trying to find another deal. Okay. Okay. Last minute rollout deal so, for people that are still want listening. Fallout 76 for some reason. Xbox One X Fallout 76 bundle. It's a $400 Xbox One X bundle. Ugh. Don't get that because it gives me conscious Fallout 76. Uh, yeah, don't get that. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>